Hey guys, what's up? I am Sam, and this is my Origami Dojo. So today, I am going to be showing you how to fold this... Sorry. Wrong prop. So today, I am going to be showing you how to fold these origami monster claws. Okay, so we're going to begin with a sheet of kami, colored side up. I'm using a light gray paper, so it's hard to tell the difference between white and color, but take my word for it. So let's fold in half, horizontally and vertically. Then let's turn over, and we'll fold in half diagonally. And now that we have that done, let's take the bottom right corner and let's fold it up to the center. And let's do the same thing with the bottom left corner. Then let's turn over top to bottom. And we'll fold and we'll do the same thing. Fold the bottom right corner up to the center. Then fold the bottom left corner up to the center. Then let's unfold and turn over again. And let's take this bottom edge here and we'll fold it up to the top, but crease only as far as the middle here. You don't really need to crease further. And as you do that, make sure that this paper underneath doesn't go sliding all over the place. I usually like to keep a finger on it to make sure it stays put. Then let's do the same thing on the left side, fold this edge up to the top. And then let's fold this flap over to the left and, re and remake the other fold. and make sure everything is flat. Then let's rotate the paper around and what we're going to do is use this mountain fold. So what we're going to do is take this mountain fold here and fold it over to the top edge like so. But we only need to crease as far as this vertical line here. So crease, then unfold, and let's do the same thing here. Bring this mountain fold over to the vertical, um, vertical midline. And bring it over and crease again only as far as this halfway mark here and then let's do the same thing on the left so use the mountain fold to bring it the edge up to the top but only crease as far as the midline then unfold and bring the mountain fold up to the vertical midline crease sharply and unfold and now let's turn over left to right then we'll fold this half of the paper up on the existing midline crease. And now what we're going to do is fold in half from left to right. But as we do that, let's take this flap here and bring it down using the mountain fold that using the existing mountain fold and the existing valley fold. So just fold it over and flatten. Now let's take this top edge here, this top point, and fold it down to the bottom of the model. And once we have that folded, let's take this edge here and fold it over to this edge here. It'll be easier if I rotate that. Then unfold everything, or at least unfold everything on that flap. Now let's open up and bring this flap down, reverse folding on the two valley creases that already exist here. And as we do that, this mount, this valley fold here will become a mountain fold. And let's flatten. Then fold over to open up and flip this flap up on the existing crease. And now we're going to do just like we did before and fold this in half. But as we do, let's reverse fold this down and flatten. Then let's open up and we're going to take this flap here and just push it inside making another reverse fold. And this valley fold already exists but this fold will be a mountain fold so we'll have to pinch it to make sure it goes where we want it to. 
and I'm just making sure everything's lined up correctly here. And then we do that once more on this flap here. We open up, then reverse fold down, and flatten. And now we turn over, and we get to do the whole thing all over on this flap. So I'm going to run through it a bit quicker this time. Let's fold down, and I'm just going to rotate since it's easier to fold that way. And fold over, then unfold, reverse fold down, then fold over and open up, then flip this flap up, and fold it over and flatten on existing creases. Then let's lift it up and reverse fold this flap in, making sure to rework that mountain fold. And fold in again. And there we go. All our fingers are done. All five of them. Okay, then let's rotate. And just like the wolf claws, we're going to open up and flatten and the paper will naturally do by do this by itself. No hard work needed. And let's fold in half and rotate. So now we have our handle done. And unlike the wolf claws, unfortunately, you can't just fold this down and go on from there. We have to actually make the individual fingers. So let's fold this flap over to make the thumb. And let's fold it down at... Uh, let's fold it down... Bring it like this, bring it down to the midline, then let's just make a little mountain fold here for a claw. And these, and to make the claws it's pretty much to taste, there are no guidelines, you can fold it however you'd like. And let's just fold this down at whatever angle you'd like, and you can have the claws meet or not, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll just keep doing that with the rest of the with the other three fingers. So lift this one up, then fold down. If you'd like, you can get these to all line up neatly and evenly, but I'm not going to bother. I'm lazy that way. And let's fold down, fold over, and once more, at last. And one last. Now we could just flip it over and do the valley fold. Okay, there we go. And now we remake all our fingers here. And your monster claws are done. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials helpfully listed here. And if you have any ideas for future tutorials, then please just leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I am Sam, and I will see you next Tutorial Tuesday. Kitty, you've made a mess of my monster claws. Haven't you done enough? No, he hasn't.